Hello, model building fans. This is another BMCK out of the box build. This is the Forgotten Prisoner. Uh, I built this model a handful of years ago. Um, I'm not exactly sure what version it is. It is not the Atlanta, Atlanta's version back there. That is a version of this kit you can get now. Uh, it's still out there, uh, probably on Amazon and at uh, various hobby shops. I'm sure you can still find it. Um, I think this might have been the old Polar Lights version, um, the license for these old Aurora kits have been all over the place over the years. But it's one that I really liked a lot. It went together very easily. Uh, and it was a lot of fun to build. Uh, guess it looks like it was molded in white. And uh, I painted it as I have. And I'm pretty happy with the way that it came out. Uh, so it's all along the back. Um, these are the kind of kits that you know, in the 60s, that made the parents really worried, you know, about exposing their kids to these things that they felt were garish or scary or this, that, or the other. Um, I find it interesting now. I would suggest uh, perhaps maybe why the kids model kits and maybe not give them the phone because uh, I think the phone is way more scary than model building. Um, it's a fun kit to put together. Um, certainly one... Uh, young people can put together. As always, it's always one fun to do, you know, as father, son, father, daughter, mother, son, mother, daughter, or everybody involved you know, can do it. It's open to uh, anybody. Model building is for everybody, really, uh, as long as the person can handle the glue and use it appropriately. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this kit. Of course, uh, I look like I did a lot of spray painting on it. I used the uh, plastic white for the skeleton. I did not paint the skeleton. That's the color that it came in. And uh, I just did some weathering on it. Probably could have done a little bit more weathering on it, but it came out okay. Of course, I'm a big fan of um, using that HO train scale sand for ground if I can. Uh, I always think that looks neat to do that. So... Um, I've seen this kit done online where they put it in a diorama with uh, the other Aurora Monster kits and it just looks terrific. So, uh, just a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, the Forgotten Prisoner. A terrific kit. Uh, the new version glows in the dark. Um, I wish I would have had that version because I just love things that glow in the dark. Um, I think that goes back to my kit. It was like a special thing if you had a model kit that glowed in the dark. Even now, I think it's fun. So... Um, I'm pretty happy with what I did with it. I think my weathering on it is pretty good. Um, of course, there, if a skeleton was hanging in a dungeon like that, I'm not sure it would still be intact. I think as time went on, it would just kind of fall apart. But uh, it's really neat the way that it looks. I think it came out, out great. Um, I hope you enjoy looking at it. As always, remember, model building is forever. Let's get some young people interested in this hobby so there can be more model kits, you know. I'm either building a model, thinking about models, or dreaming about models from my youth that I wish they would re-release. So, um, model building is a wonderful thing, and it'd be great if more people would do it. So, take care. I hope you enjoy looking at my retro model kits. Um, this is not a vintage kit. Uh, but it is wonderful all the same.